know what you're thinking, boy. You're thinking that there's no door and that you will escape as soon as darkness falls. Do us both a favour, don't bother. There's no water and no shelter for miles around. You wouldn't last a day. Why have we come here? You promised to help me escape. The Romans will be here in a day or two to take you to the governor's palace. Wait, please. What happened to my mother and father? Same thing that happens to every fool that practices an illegal religion. What? What happened? I don't know. And it's best that you don't know either. Grace and peace, my child. Who are you? My real name would mean nothing to you. But call me Miriam, for that was my given name when I was baptised. You're a Christian? I am. It was a Roman that told me of the way. A Roman? The Romans hate us. This one was different. They're all the same. It's their fault I'm here. My parents are in Corinth right now, probably about to be sold as slaves or burned alive. I'm the only one that can save them. Your parents need you alive, Timothy. Don't be a fool. I need to save them. Then listen. You do not know your enemy, Timothy. I do. What must I do? This rope was used to bind those who follow the way. But no rope or chain can stop us believing what is true. So wear it now as a belt of truth. Will this help me escape? Not in the slightest. But it will remind you of what you're fighting for. That's enough for now. Thank you, Miriam, but do you have anything a bit more real? Rest is a powerful weapon, Timothy. Sleep now, and tomorrow you shall have a shield. of the Emperor Domitian. Among you are those who call themselves followers of the way, Christians. They refuse to offer incense to the Emperor and thereby insult the imperial cult. As such, they are guilty of the crime of atheism and deserving of death. No! They're coming! The Romans! They're going to kill us all! That will never happen! How do you know? Please calm down. It was only a dream. It's true though, isn't it? That they want us dead. Some do, yes. But we are not alone. I'm starving. Do you have any food? I'm sorry. I don't have anything to give you. Except this. What? How? I promised you a shield, didn't I? Well, yes, but, I mean, I thought it would be like the belt, you know, just something lying around. Then you like it. I love it. Eat that, boy. Please, you have to let me go. My parents will reward you. <laughs> Here's some free advice, boy. Don't look for other people to solve your problems. Not parents, not emperors, not gods. No one.
I'm sorry, Miriam. I should have left some for you. Do not worry, Timothy. I don't need it. Now, pick up your shield. It's heavy. It has to be. It needs to be thick enough to extinguish flaming arrows. Brace it against your leg. Come here, I'll show you. How do you know all this? My husband was in the army. He was the bravest and the best in his legion. Why didn't he rescue you? He would have done, if it were possible. I don't understand. If he loved you, he should have saved you. We don't always know what we need saving from. What do you mean? Timothy, there are powers at work in this world. Powers that you cannot see. The Greeks and the Romans laugh at us because our God is invisible. But he is very, very real. But how can we know for sure? Because we have faith. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we cannot see. All around us, the most unlikely people are being changed completely. And incredible things are happening all over the world. Like my parents. Tell me about them. They're always busy working for the city council. There are merchants and soldiers around the villa every day. Then, one morning, it was as if Mother just woke up and everything changed. She wanted us to be together all of the time. Soon, Father changed too. He told us of the Shepherd King who had died to save the whole world. But nothing could save us from the Emperor's soldiers. Why? Why do they hate us? Because there are also dark powers in this world, Timothy. Your family were a shining light with much influence, telling hundreds of people of the way. The powers of darkness would not have that. What am I supposed to do? You don't have to do anything. Your faith is your shield. God will fight for you. Is he? Is he stronger than the darkness? <laughs> much, much stronger. Stand firm, Timothy. Miriam, I need to go now. No, Timothy. Now is not the right time. I know you want me to be safe, Miriam, but I can't just stay here and wait to be taken by the Romans. You have an exceptional mind, Timothy. But you must protect it. What? How? Where did you get this? My husband had it made for a young Roman boy. The child wanted to be just like him, and his wealthy father was willing to entertain that. I always wanted to be a Roman soldier. Now I hate them all. As followers of the way, we are called to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. I can't do that. I know it hurts, Timothy, but it helps so much if you can see the bigger picture. You are saved. Your salvation is as solid as that helmet. All things are yours. You just can't see it yet. What do you mean? The boy that helmet belonged to is the heir to his father's fortune. Servants, chariots, soldiers, gold. One day it will all be his. But right now, he has nothing because he is not old enough. Do you think he's miserable, Timothy? Of course not. And why? Because he just has to wait a few years. He can dream of all the things he'll do and plan all the places he'll go and... You see, Timothy, all is not as it seems. If you could just see a glimpse of the treasure that is waiting for you, you would have nothing but pity for those who are rejecting it. 
Have you seen the treasure, Miriam? I've seen enough. It still hurts, though, doesn't it? You Christians are a plague! All of you! Don't you realize that everyone wants rid of you? No one will save you. No one will save you! Timothy! Try that again, and you're dead. You're not that valuable, boy. No second chances. Oh, Timothy. Miriam? Yes, Timothy? I want to go home. I know. Can you take me home? followers of the way, Christians. They refuse to offer incense to the emperor and thereby insult the imperial you. cult. You'll see. As no such, they are guilty of the crime of atheism no one and deserve it. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous. Miriam, you've gone too far this time. If the sleeve sees this... It doesn't matter. You're leaving today. Miriam, I can't. You can. It will be different this time. But my foot. It's healing nicely. Here, put these on. Miriam, where are you getting all of this stuff from? You will soon be free, but you must put on the full armour and be ready. I can't run wearing all of that. Now is not the time to run. Now is the time to stand. But Miriam... Please, Timothy. No more questions for now. I need you to trust me, even though you may not understand what is happening. Miriam, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong, Timothy. It's just, we'll both be going home very soon. And our homes are far away from each other. Promise me you will remember. I will remember everything. Now, hurry, put on the full armour. There is so much more I want to say, but there is no time. It is for freedom that Christ set you free. Stand firm now. Timothy, guard what has been entrusted to your care. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Grace, mercy and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. Shalom, my child.
Miriam? What is the meaning of this? Where did he get that armor by Jupiter? He must have stolen it. From whom exactly? There's no one within a hundred stadium. You fool. Do you realize what you've done? This armor is made for Lucius Quintus. You kidnapped the governor's son. Impossible. I know this boy's parents. They are Christians from Corinth. This must be some sort of deception. The Christians are known for their evil sorcery. Would you like to try and convince the governor of that, or shall I? Come, Lucius. You're free. right thing to do, but be silent. We are not safe yet. Cornelius! Why did we take this road? We could have been back at the governor's palace by now. We have another task first. What task? What task, Cornelius? Where are we going? To Corinth. By the gods, Cornelius, have you lost your mind? You are. Quod nomen tibi est. Quod nomen tibi est. He speaks no Latin. He is no Roman. He can't be the governor's son. He's in shock. Leave him be. Look at him. He's clearly a Greek. Julius, look. It's the son of the couple from Corinth we arrested last week. The brat that bit me. Well, well, well. Cornelius Decimus. You are under arrest by order of the Emperor Domitian. Stand down in the name of Caesar! Stand firm, Timothy! Stand firm! Drop the gladius, boy! Drop it! Timothy? Timothy? Someone's looking after you, Timothy. Come. It's a long road to Corinth. Are we going to see Mother and Father? Yes, Timothy. Grace and peace. Grace and peace, Timothy. That day, I promised I would always remember. I would always remember my Christian brothers and sisters who were suffering while I was free. I would always remember Cornelius, who taught me that God never leaves us without friends. And I would always remember Miriam, who taught me of the armor of God. <laughs> 